so what exactly is operating system it is just a piece of software it's a piece of code it is written in such a way that it can communicate with the computer hardware and software resources okay so basically your operating system can talk to your cpu it can talk to the motherboard it can talk to the ram okay you know in your laptop you will see you have 1 tb of hard disk but 4 gb of ram why why such a difference why can't there be 1 tb of ram as well as 1 tb of hard disk because ram is expensive okay everyone cannot afford yes big companies can afford 5 tb of ram 10 tb of ram they have resources they have they can you know spend a lot of money but you know we as a consumer we cannot afford that much of hardware resources so that's why what uh, the system you know the complete computer or the this machine is designed in a way that you can use a less ram and you know the storage can be can go up to terabytes or petabytes so memory is expensive that's why the operating system software should be you know good enough to manage the uh, running programs in a limited available memory you know in your phones there used to be 1 gb of ram 2 gb of ram and you are using your phone for playing games for multitasking for taking videos and pictures right you know, i mean your your complete hardware your phone hardware was able to process it why because the android operating system has you know is continuously you know making such changes in the operating system that you know the uh, the operating system is getting more memory efficient okay it can manage the memory in a more better way than the previous android versions similarly in the servers also you might see server with 2 gb ram or 4 gb ram right if if the mani- memory management is good multitasking management is also equally good right and then operating system has to manage multiple users as well managing multiple users you know on a server machine typically single user does not log in multiple users log in for their work or for some task okay